All right, you guys. When we left off, Dante quit the force for good. He said he was done with it all. He was going to run away with Reiku. I think that's her. If I remember correctly, I'm terrible with names. So correct me in the comment section below. He was going to run away with Reiku. But that was just the ending. And it was, I guess it was a hitting ending that I got. But we're left with these places because we visit every other place. We visit Marble. We talk to Mama. We talk to everybody. And let's go to Sunfish Pocket. By the way, I hope you guys are having a really good day because I just started like getting sick again. I keep getting colds nonstop. I might think my immune system just said, forget Voya. Voya is just, ugh. My, my, my immune system just said, forget me. And remember, this is the timeline where uh, both Renju and Shoku are, are dead. Once again, I look for any clues that, were my, that we might missed. I guess it was a waste of time. Yeah, I didn't find any clues. So, I feel like... That's just them like, hey, by the way, check stuff. So remember, there was something in the drum, but I take it it's not in there anymore. Just a chair, okay. Like I don't wanna. Jellyfish lights, okay, probably not a clue. Kitchen window, nothing suspicious there. Remember, we, we said that the surveillance camera could have been something, but pictures of the maze on display. Which one is your type, Dante? Where is this coming from? Just tell me. Well, let's see. Wow, you're really thinking about it? Disgusting. Why would you ask me that? Ah, oh, little kids, I swear. If I had to pick one, I'd say the second one from the left. The top row is my type. Okay. So, of course, if it came down to it, I would say no to any of them. Why, Dante? They, they kind of look cute from a distance. I mean, but you know what it's like to... Um, can you think of anything? Um, not really. I'm sorry for bringing you here. Because this is where Daddy's corpse was. I yeah. told you before, it's fine. No, it's not. I was honey. the one who said I wanted to come with you, so. Doesn't make it okay. Yeah. Nothing we can do here. Yeah, so. There was nothing there. So let's go to. Let's go to Bloom Park. I don't know. My mind just said Bloom Park for a second. I just. I don't know. I remember telling you before that Bloom Park is an important part of my memories. Before it shut down, I came here a lot with Daddy and Mom. Oh, I know, honey. They fought a lot, but sometimes they got along. Whenever we were here, it was one of those sometimes days. I remember it clearly. I was just a little girl, but it was so rare to see them laughing together. That's why I remember it so well. I remember riding the merry-go-round like this. Aww. Mom was standing right next to me. She was holding me, so I wouldn't fall. Oh, Merry-go-round horse. Is this the one that... Which one was the one that she passed away on? I couldn't get on many of them because I was so little. But I did ride the Ferris wheel. And the panda ride. They're kind of tame now, but at the time they were really fun. I was having so much fun it felt... Wrong. Like it was too good to be true. Sometimes having too much fun, it could be too good to be true, honestly. Um, where was Renju when you were on the horse? 
Daddy was on the outside, taking pictures of me and Mom. He was on the other side of the fence, with an old camera. Every time we passed in front of him, Mom and I would wave our hands. <laughs> we sound like a happy family, huh? He must yeah. have gotten good pictures. No, actually. We tried developing them at the park, but they came out all blurry and out of focus. But Mom wasn't mad or upset or anything. She just started laughing. That might have been the first and last time the three of us laughed out loud together. I'm so sorry, Mizuki. Other than last Friday? Nope. I haven't. This place has been off limits for almost a decade. Even if it wasn't, I don't think I would want to come back here. Why is that? How can I explain it? I guess I just wanted to keep that memory beautiful. I didn't want to ruin it or replace it with another. But in the end, it was replaced with the worst memory possible. I'm so sorry, Mizuki. This is so sad for me. I I, I still have my mommy, and I, would, I hope and pray that my mommy can make it until... I'm able to pay her back for everything she's ever done for me. But this is, um, this just makes it sad because I just put myself in people's shoes so much. And it, it, su it sucks for me because I always feel other people's pain. Yesterday I cried over a lady who lost her dog, and it's not even my dog. I didn't say anything as Mizuki climbed down from the horse. Then she asked me something strange. Hey, Date. How do you define family? Define it? You mean like being blood related? That would mean you and I could never be family. Well, I guess that's okay. It's okay. This is what I think. A family is a perfectly ordinary relationship in the most ordinary way. Huh? That's kind of weird. Like, you say, I'm home, and you get a welcome home back. Doing those ordinary things automatically, without even thinking about it, is what a family is. Huh. That's why maybe me and mom and daddy weren't able to be a family. Our whole lives, we never could be ordinary. Even if I tried my hardest to be normal, it would just be awkward. Hmm. Eventually. I got tired of trying. I killed them. What? No. I killed mom and daddy. You didn't. Last Friday, I found Mizuki inside the central column. I don't know why it, play it went to that. I. I was never a good girl. I didn't listen to mom. I couldn't do ordinary things. That's why mom hit me. And why mom and daddy didn't get along. And why they got divorced. Then mom had to start working. And start doing business with dangerous people. But, but that's not your good fault. Girl. Mom it's wouldn't not have been killed. This, it's not your fault, honey. All of this is all my fault. No. That's not your fault, honey. Why me? Hey, haven't you had enough? Why me? Hell, oh, you the fine here with Shoku. So take this with a grain of salt, but it's not just you, right? Doesn't every family have a tough time raising children? Our child is abnormal. Abnormal? Ever since she was a baby. No child should cry at night as much as she did. No child should dislike buggy rides that much. No child should ask to be picked up and hugged all the time. She's Aww. still abnormal even now. Other children would have learned to clean up after themselves by now. They would be studying, going to bed on time, waking up on time. Yet why is my little girl? She sounds like a normal kid to me. She, I mean, yeah. Maybe the problem isn't with Mizuki. 
Maybe it's you. I'm you doing more than anyone. I feel like you're just looking for Our a child problem. Is and... Stupid, brain dead, abnormal. Date, honey, you can't work her up like that. She needs to know it's not the child, it's her. Just because you think something's wrong doesn't mean that something's wrong with your child. If anything, she's acting like every normal child out there. I quit my job for that girl. I threw away the career that I built with my own hands. I raised my child at the expense of my own life. But one little slap. Are you hitting your kid? There's nothing I can do. I have no choice. There's I know plenty you, you could do. Your hand to a child. I know that. I know that. But I have a good reason. She doesn't listen to me. So what else am I supposed to do? What the hell do you mean, what am I supposed to do? That's no reason to hit a child. So of course she starts crying. And it's so irritating that I have to hit her again to get her to stop. Wow. And cries and cries some more. Why are you crying? If you're gonna cry, why didn't you just listen to me in the first place? Then I wouldn't have to hit you. Stupid this, Mizuki. This angers Stupid me. Stupid girl. This really angers it's me. It's not my fault. Everything is her fault. You don't deserve a daughter like Mizuki. At all. Have you talked to Renju about this? I'm trying. I'm trying harder than anyone. She Why doesn't know. anyone see that? Why doesn't anyone understand? <laughs> she doesn't know how to be a mother. Date. Yeah, I'll talk to Renju about this. Yeah, she doesn't know how to be a mother. And it's sad as so many people out there that be having kids and they don't really know how to be it mothers. It was my misunderstanding. What do you mean? I thought that mothers love their children unconditionally. But some mothers just can't do that. Well, no. Maybe she does love her. But she has a hard time of it. I guess, yeah. Shoko was never hugged by her mother. Not because her mother wasn't around. She was raised to never develop a sensitivity to affection. No hugs, no piggyback rides, nothing. Maybe that's why she doesn't know how to love Mizuki. When an animal raised in captivity gives birth, sometimes it just doesn't know how to raise its young. It's just like that. I mean, if you want to put it that way. But that doesn't mean she's blameless in all this. She is Someone definitely Someone has to put blameless. a stop to it. If I could have, I would have done it a long time ago. What about counseling? I did recommend that. She told me, I'm not sick. Why should I go see a doctor? Mizuki is the problem. Mizuki is the sick one. This is why they didn't get along. And Mizuki thinks that it's her fault. Is that he tried his hardest to get her to love her daughter. If anything, yes, they did break up because of Mizuki. But because her daddy loved her and her mom didn't. That's why they broke up. No, Mizuki would never leave Shoko. She wouldn't hear of it. Mizuki and Shoko are practically attached at the hip. Even with all of the hitting? Yes. She still loves her. Even if she's abused on a daily basis, even if she's treated like garbage... Maybe. Mizuki is hungry for love. She craves praise and attention and physical affection. She wants it from her mother. That's why she's so attached. Well, why don't you step in, father, and give her that physical love that she wants like I don't yeah, thank you I have a company now Lemniscate we're at a crucial stage of development oh this is angering me I can't take even a single second out of my day to deal with a kid hey that's your daughter you're talking about maybe because you two can't cooperate on raising a child Shoko is having trouble coping that might be it Maybe this is partially my fault. At okay, least he's taking. I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna say it. You two are both awful parents. Yep. Maybe he he. I don't know. 
Just the fact, just to listen to someone say something so I terrible knew about, about the whole thing. That's why four years ago, I decided to start taking care of Mizuki. <laughs> Hug her, Dante, Mizuki, please. You did nothing wrong. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. Not one single thing was your fault. <laughs> She's just so upset that she lost both of them. I know, Mizuki, honey. Let it out. Let it out, honey. Let's go to the core, cold storage. I always call it the core storage warehouse. Cold storage warehouse. Oh, my God. It really got me upset because there's kids out there that really think that this is their fault, that their family is the way they are, and it's not. Sometimes your family is just crappy, just horrible. So this I don't believe in that family come first killed, stuff. Right? It gives me goosebumps. You scared? That's rare. You need to chill. Haha, -ha, Dante. You need to get better jokes. Oh, I understand. Chill, meaning both cold and relax. A pun intended. Shut up, Iba. Don't explain it. It's embarrassing. So... Ota was down around here, right? Correct. The bloodstains there must belong to Ota. Correct. No, wait. That's where the polar bear's leg was pierced by the hook. Yep. So maybe we can That's find it. some. I've analyzed the blood. The blood stain here is not from a single person. Two different blood types are present. Yep. One of them is most likely Ota's. The other. Who is it? Hey, do you have DNA forensics on that blood stain? Of course, yeah. I already sent it to the lab to be analyzed. I'm just waiting to hear back. Why are you waiting? Because that blood is from Ota Matsushita's wound, right? I didn't think there was any need to rush the results. Tell them we need it analyzed urgently. Highest priority. The culprit's blood is mixed with Ota's. Yes, sir. Understood. All right. Let's get some stuff going. I'm so, I'm so excited to now figure out who this is in the polar. You did it, Date. We're making progress. If this goes well, we can identify the criminal with a single test. Now hopefully something good comes out of all of this. It might take some time for the results to come out. No point waiting here. We might as well check somewhere else. Got it. All right, let's get let's get on somewhere else. Let's go to Oh, Biz Headquarters. I was just about to say, let's go to the headquarters or back home or something. I'm just excited to figure out who this is and why. Why did they do what they did and why were they trying to kill Iris and Ota? All right, I guess we can have a conversation with the Mizuki until then, though. But I guess not. Date, a call from boss. Shall I connect you? Yes. No, wait. Wait? If I take the call, Mizuki might ask questions. Are you talking to yourself again? Do you need to go to the hospital? Exactly. I can put it on speaker. Please. Date. I'm sorry I'm so Mizuki quiet. I'm right just now. like really trying yes. to think and figure What's out up? who it is. I need you to come to Abyss headquarters with Mizuki. I was just heading there. Did something happen? Yeah. Head office is here. They want to get information from Mizuki. Uh oh. We here at Abyss have her testimony, but the rest of the MPD wants to hear from her. They didn't get anything from her last time. They want to do an official questioning. Oh god, I hope she's ready for this. Are you ready for this, Mizuki? This order comes straight from the top. We don't have the power to say no. So, please. You heard her. I don't want to. I want to keep investigating. There's nothing we, we can do. Exactly. We can't fight the power of the state. You are the power of the state. No, we're not. Abyss is a toenail on the foot of the state. 
As far as they're concerned, we don't really do anything, and we don't have any say in what they do. And any time we get too troublesome, they cut us off. Why? Oh, stupid Dante. Look, you can be mad all you want, but this is crucial to finding who it is. So if they got to question you a thousand times, just keep telling the story that you know. And that's the truth. And you'll be all right, Mizuki. Now get in there and do, you know, do your best. Sorry for the trouble. Don't worry about it. I'm just a slave to you anyway. Oh, come on. I don't treat you like a slave, do I? Kind of. Just because I sometimes make you lick between my toes. Ooh. Ew, what? <laughs> Say this music. Lick anything? Anyway, thanks, Dante. I mean... And don't worry about Mizuki. I told HQ to take it easy. Mizuki, I mean, would I mind licking sure something? You okay, I'm gonna, stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. It'll be over soon. Don't worry. Just tell Besides the story. That, Date, there's something I have to tell you. Okay. You have a message from one of the inspectors at the warehouse. Oh, good. He wants to give you some information in person at the warehouse. Could he have... The blood results? I'll have uh, right I hope away. so. Mizuki. You be a good girl, okay? Jeez. It's hard to love you, Mizuki, but I understand why it's hard to love you. It's like the more I start understanding their backgrounds, the more and more I don't want anything to happen to them. Okay, it's 443? Date, sorry to make you come all the way down here, but I have the results of the DNA analysis. Okay. What did you find? You could have called it's me. Just like you said, there were two different blood signatures. One is definitely from Oda Matsushita. Other. Huh? Well, we got the results, but we couldn't what? find any matches in our database. Uh. That Come is on. not surprising. HQ does not have a complete record of everyone's DNA. Come on! What now? What now? Do not panic. I have a piece of information I think you should know. Give me some good, Iba. I have discovered a suspicious person at your 12 o'clock. 200 yards. Where? He's looking this way. Person? You mean that little dot? Wait. That's... What is so, so doing Sajima. here? What are you doing here? It. You his left leg. Huh? So Sajima! Stop! It's him! So I know you had something in this. Yes, we can finally nail this <sighs> this beaster. <sighs> Damn it! Ugh. Oh my goodness. It's him. So's the culprit. Calm down. We cannot yet make that conclusion. He was Why is he limping? His left leg. But he's been all over this case so far. Shoko and Renju are both in bed with the Kumakuras. And the Kumakuras know so. And not just that. Why would you dress like a bear? We saw him in Iris' Somnium. Still. And he has no alibi. No alibi for Shoko, Renju, or the warehouse. Dante, calm down. Warehouse, sorry. The only thing we have so far is circumstantial evidence. We also do not have any established motive. Why didn't we just x-ray him? Why would he kill Shoko and Renju? I don't know. Why would he cut out Iris' eyeball? I don't Whoa. know! However... I do agree that so is suspicious. Do you agree with me or not? I am explaining to you that we currently do not have enough evidence to bring him in. But we can check his leg. Him now would only result in him denying everything. Like he has we been. We need direct evidence. Direct evidence. The criminal's blood from the cold storage warehouse. If the DNA matches so's. Right. We need to get So's DNA. How, though? The question is, how? 
I think we got to figure that one out. In the next episode, I know you guys are going to get... I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We're going to figure this out, you guys. So you... We're going to nail you so bad. Oh, we're going to nail you so bad. But thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate it. And I will see all of you in the next video. Bye.